Okay, you might be a little confused when you open up Revit 2024 if you're used to other versions of Revit. Reason being is the crop box doesn't have the group edits on it right away by default. And that's because it's assigned to a scope box. So if I click on the crop box and I scroll down in its properties right here, then I can click on that and say none. And if there's no scope box defined for this, then it can move independently from it. So the group edits appear. What's kind of nice about this, and it's a cleaner workflow, is if I have a building, let's just say like right over here, and I want to crop all my views to that, I can make a scope box. If I go to the view tab and I go to scope box, I can go and draw a new scope box just tight to my building. And once I have that and I like it, then I can click on the crop box from each view. Once again, go to its properties and go to scope box, and I can go and define that to that new scope box. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.